Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. And if you're new here, of course, go ahead, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. Now, while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up and help your girl out. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about the uni backside queen, Miss Kimmy Cakes. Now, we know that the moment Kim decided that, you know what, I want to be the girl of Hollywood, I want to be the queen, and I want all the glitz, the glamours, the money, because that is what is important, or at least that is what she thought, right? And the moment she gave up her marriage, this woman practically sacrificed her marriage, her kids, her family herself, her heart, for Hollywood, and now she's definitely facing the repercussions of that. Listen, do you know how they say for every action there is a reaction? Well, she didn't respect the reaction that she's getting. Cam's relevance went from 100 to 30%, because it's really given the sense that she's somewhere between 30 to 50 percent. We know she's not a hundred. We know it's not at 80 percent. Now, please note that we're not talking about Kim not being a human being. That's not what we're saying because I don't know if roaches are crawling into some people's brain, but when you talk about these things, they stray from the topic so badly that you're confused. Like, what the heck is this person? talking about in the comment section so make no mistakes we're talking about her popularity in the pop culture scene not being on the height that it used to when she was with Ye. no make no mistakes kim has dealt a lot of dirty hands in order to get to where she was before she was with Ye. she has never played it clean never the sex tape lying on Ray J, David Libenson, and it all. Like, at this point, something has to be half true. It can't be that Ray J's lying. It can't be that David Libenson is lying. I mean, there has to be some amount of truth somewhere. And if you saw that article from the Daily Mail, Daily Mail alleged that Kim said David Libenson gave her his company as a gift. Just imagine, this man is not sleeping with you, he's not friends with you. What witchcraft did you use on that man for that man to say, here Kim, here is my company, and in return, he bargained to lose his home family, to be homeless and then to be sued by you? That part right there is not making any sense. And that is why I say, for her actions, she's getting the repercussions. Because you now Kim is on such a low low that she's asking her followers to vote for her for the People's Choice Award. Like Kim, come on. Do you realize that you're Kim Kardashian? Like when I saw that post, it was last week, right? And we know that Keeping Up With The Kardashians has always been nominated for People's Choice, People's Choice Award. They have won. Chloe has won as the number one person on the show. So now Kim wants to be Chloe to that because in Kim's head, no one should be ranked above her. That's her thing, you know, and she always also openly speaks about openly being this competitive type of person, right? And it's not a bad thing for you to always want to, you know, be at the top. And it's not a bad thing to be competitive, right? And in this this time around, I have to say, she is taking the straight and narrow path, it may seem. But again, I have to say, it looks embarrassing for Kim Kardashian because, you know, knowing that Chloe, See, Kim has to understand that in this world, we have different departments and you cannot rule all departments. No one, no king, no president, no prime minister, can be the leader of every country. It is highly impossible, right? Because you're just one individual and there's so many countries. Kim wants to be the winner in everything and at everything, and it's not possible. She needs to understand that, yeah, listen, 
the people of Chloe, right? And they love Chloe for a reason because Chloe, while we can tell that Chloe is covering up for Tristan and she's still having sexy time with that man and is lying about it, Kim gives hella fake consistently. Kim throws Kanye under the bus at every single opportunity when things are not working out for her and she wants a major comeback. She goes on a crying marathon and she throws Ye under the bus, you know, without taking any accountability for her actions. She will tell us this minute that Ye is causing her, you know, emotional pain, stress, and trauma. But then, the moment that Ye truly ignores her and start loving up on his wife, she, Kim, will be there on Insta throwing subliminals at Ye's wife. And then if Ye claps back, she acts as though she's just innocent and Ye is attacking her for absolutely no reason when Kim was the first one who fired the first shot. So Kim needs to understand that People aren't as dumb as you think they are, not because they may not have, you know, the money and the resources that you have. It doesn't mean that an individual is stupid because they are not that wealthy. It's just that people do have a heart and many people want to sleep well at night and it gives people the ease to sleep well at night to know that they have attained what they have by taking the straight and narrow path no one is crying they didn't lie on anyone they didn't swindle anything they didn't sabotage anyone so i believe that kim sees herself as being the brightest crayon in the box when the fact of the matter is she ain't because if she was she would be able to see that you know if she gave up her marriage you know the kids would suffer and at the end of the day when she has all of that money what happiness will that money bring to you when the memories of love, life, family is far more rewarding? So Kim is at a level of desperation. It's so bad that, you know, making this post on your Instagram page, asking people to vote for you because you have been nominated for the People's Choice Award, even though... You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I believe that for Kim Kardashian, it's a bit embarrassing to see her at this level. And I have to keep it real. People do ask people to vote for them. And again, let me reiterate, there's nothing wrong with it. But knowing the height, knowing the level that Kim was at, to see her doing this on her Instagram story, repeatedly it's given the sense that she's truly desperate for recognition at this point normally she would be confident in the fact that once she is nominated for an award she is going to win that award because she has won the people's choice award before and she had never had to ask anyone to vote for her but it's as though this time around she's saying to people hey guys Remember that I am here. Remember that I'm still alive. Remember that I still like these things. Remember me, please. So I want you to go out there and vote for me. It's not bad, but it is actually embarrassing for someone of a Kim Kardashian status who has been in the pop culture for so many years, who had so much at her advantage, but then threw it all away for something that she thought she would have gained, but only lost in the end. It's really embarrassing. And as such, this is how we know she's having regrets of giving up on her marriage because her knight in shining armor is not there anymore. The man that would help her to build her status and to get the clout and the attention that she craves for is no longer there. And as such, it is really embarrassing. And that's all I have to say about that. But I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts? I want to hear from you. Comment below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you all later. Peace.